A press briefing by the members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, the Tarba Varsity Chapter, a threatening industrial action should the state government decide not to take steps to address the challenges of their six months unpaid salaries, seven months fractional salaries, unpaid earned academic allowances, and lack of pension or gratuity scheme in the institution. Our members express deep concern over the inadequate funding of the university, which has led to delays and irregular and sometimes fractional payment of salaries. In summary, we are owed six full months and seven months fractional salaries. The state government heard that call and invited the union's leadership, the school's management and the students' union leaders to a meeting. The intent of this meeting is to get first-hand information as regards their grievances. He describes the academic staff as builders of dreams and guardians of a future generation and whatever issues they might have can and will be addressed through dialogue and understanding. Rest assured, we have not been blind to this issue. We recognize that addressing this outstanding payment is not only a matter of financial responsibility, but also a moral obligation to our educators. However, I implore you to consider the bigger picture in this issue. After the closed-door meeting, the Vice-Chancellor of the institution gives highlights of the deliberations, including a directive for the immediate payment of three months of standing salaries and an assurance that other problems confronting the institution will be looked into and resolved over time. He has demonstrated the uh, willingness of his government to accommodate all issues of welfare uh, of the staff who are actually the drivers of the educational system and the university. By ordering the immediate release of the outstanding salaries from, June, from July to September. The ASU chairman says they are satisfied with the steps put in place to cater for their welfare. The discussion we had with the governor, I want to assure us that it is fruitful and we will surely take the same way it is to our members. And we are optimistic that um, it will go down well with our members. The government is providing assurances to state workers, affirming its dedication to ensuring timely disbursement of salaries, pensions and gratuities. Furthermore, it pledges its commitment to implementing the national minimum wage by October this year.